We're going to quickly go over setting up the SAMD21 Pro RF board from SparkFun in the Arduino interface and getting it ready to upload sketches. The SparkFun website has a great tutorial on getting started. I'm going to take portions of this just to get you off the ground. The first thing we're going to do is go to the setting up Arduino portion and we're going to copy this link right here. We need to make sure that Arduino can load this particular board with all the proper pinouts. So make sure you've copied this. We'll go to the Arduino interface, File, Preferences, and on this additional Boards Manager, we're going to paste it right in here. I'm going to hit OK. The next step is to go to Tools, and Board, and Boards Manager. We first need to install the SAMD boards from Arduino, which is this link right here. I've already installed it, so just make sure you click Install. Once that's installed, we're going to look for the SparkFun SAMD boards, which are right here. Again, I've already installed them, and they've showed up because I put in that URL. And this will allow us to use the boards. Now I can go to Tools, Board, and scroll down to look for the board that I'd like to use. I'm using the SAMD21 Pro RF. Before we upload the sketch, I'm going to solder an antenna onto this board. If we look back at the hookup guide, we'll go to Hardware Overview and scroll down so that we can see the antenna section. There is a UFL connector on the board, which is right here, uh, or a micro connector. It's really small, so we're just going to solder a wire in. Right here we're on a 915 megahertz board, so we're looking at about 3 inches, or 78 millimeters, so that we can have a quarter wave antenna. So I'm going to unplug the board and then I'm going to measure out a little over 3 inches or 3 and 1 16th. And I'm going to overshoot it because it's easier to measure off of a smaller and I will cut my piece I will now strip away a little bit of the wire so that it's exposed to solder into the board. I need to make sure it goes into this antenna spot here. And I will solder it right on the top through to the back. Now I'll add a little flux to my wire and flux the back of the pad. And now I should have no problem soldering my wire. Make sure you heat up the pad and the wire, drop a little solder on, and you should be good to go. Now. I have the proper length antenna attached to my board. The next step is to go back to the Arduino interface. We'll look at all this code, but as a quick overview, we're going to include the spy library, include that Radiohead library, so make sure you download that. To install the library, go to Sketch, Include Library, Add Zip Library, and then find the library that you downloaded. So here I have the Radiohead Library. I'm not going to install it because I already have it installed, but you would hit OK. Once that's all ready to go, you can use the library and use this code. These are the specific pinouts for the SparkFun Pro RF, so make sure that the radio 
board, this board on the back is on 12 and 6. We'll use the pin 13 LED. And the most important parts of this code are the frequency that we're choosing, which you can adjust. You have a range of 902 to 928. And making sure everything's initialized. We can change the frequency here. We can also set the transmitter range in decibels. So if you'd like to change that value, you can give it a shot and see how it adjusts when you pull up your board in Cubic SDR. This is the main loop of the program. We're going to be sending a string that you will change. And we're going to use the radio to send that a certain size because we can only send a certain size of data over the radio. And then it's going to receive the signal on the other side and print on our serial command, wait two seconds, and then it will send that again. So let's make sure that we plug our board back in. Make sure that the switch is in the on position before you upload and we'll select the board and its port. So on my computer that's going to be board Sparkfun Pro RF port. And I'm going to upload. You can save if you'd like. And you can see it's uploading. It should be done uploading. I'm going to open the serial monitor just to see if my commands are going. There we go. So now we can see when it's sending and we can compare that with our SDR data. We can even see the LED and the transmit light on. That should get you started.